Hi, I'm Taya Gurken, and I'm here with a Farida OT62 VBS from the company's Old Town series. Farida is a Chinese manufacturer uh, that has become well established in Asia and Europe and the UK, and they're now working with a US distributor on a line of instruments uh, that are exclusive to the US market. And um, to really make that happen, they're working with a well established North American vintage guitar dealer in helping design these instruments. Now, the OT62 VBS that I'm holding here is uh, clearly designed after the classic slope shoulder dreadnought. And uh, it's really pretty close um, to those designs in, in, in its specs. Uh, certainly, the body shape and size uh, is very accurate. Um, the choice of materials uh, is also based on, on traditional designs. It's got a solid Sitka spruce top. Uh, it's got mahogany back and sides. Um, the neck on the guitar uh, is made from mahogany. In this case, it's a NATO mahogany, which is an Asian mahogany. The fingerboard and bridge are made from acacia, which is uh, in the rosewood family. Uh, beautiful striping on the, uh, on the bridge of this, uh, of this guitar. And um, there's other details uh, that are based on uh, vintage design choices, such as the uh, three on a strip open gear arrowhead tuners. And uh, the, uh, the pickguard also is, uh, is similar to the vintage pickguards that you would find. And the overall appointments of the guitar, um, which include um, acrylic dot markers, basic fingerboard dots on the uh, face of the fingerboard, as well as small dots on the sides as position markers. Um, it's got. Uh, kind of aged white binding and the traditional uh, narrow strip uh, rosette that uh, is a white and black design right here. Now the guitar um, has the uh, 1 and 11 16 inch nut width that you would find on most uh, older slope shoulder guitars. And uh, it's got a short uh, 24.7 inch scale. So really, no big surprises there in terms of the design choices of the instrument, but very well executed on this guitar, which is also quite affordable. Slope shoulder dreadnoughts are used in a lot of different musical styles. You heard me kind of strumming it relatively softly the way I might accompany a, a vocalist. Uh, but we also had Peghead Nation's Scott Nygaard play the guitar with a flat pick in more of a bluegrass style. So let's listen to that. Here's Scott. <laughs> So that's the Farida OT62 VBS from the company's Old Town series. It's a very cool guitar. If you've been in the market for a uh, vintage style slope shoulder dreadnought uh, that kind of meets the, uh, the specs that you would expect, both in terms of the dimensions, the nut width, the scale length, and also the overall appearance of the guitar, these are definitely worth checking out. Um, they're available both in stores and at online dealers, and uh, definitely worth giving a strum. My name is Taya Gurkin here at Peghead Nation, and I hope you come back to see more of our gear demos. Thank you.